Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. As I am recording this, it is officially October. It is currently the 2nd of October. And if anyone who knows me in person, you'll all know that I love Halloween. I love October. It's my favourite month of the year. I wish every day could be Halloween. I really do. You can't tell because I have the background blare on, but my RGB lights are set to orange. Granted, it looks red when I'm looking in the viewfinder. But I can assure you they are orange in real life. I have changed my um, RGB lights in my computer tower to orange. I have changed my mouse um, light colour to orange. My keyboard lights to orange. It is a very orange room at the minute other than the blue uh, bat lights that you can kind of see there but not really. Uh, so yeah, it's my favourite time of the year. And we are going back to Pleasant View. Um, I think we're with Darren Dreamer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, last part, he didn't really do much. But I think I'm going to give him a job in the... It's not the painter career. I think it's the visionary one. You know, where they have the camera and stuff. I think I'm going to give him that. Because at the moment, he's still kind of struggling to paint. And he's not got a lot of money. Uh, but yeah, and also when we last played Cassandra, she and Darren had a child together. He hasn't met the child yet, I don't think, but the child is Sage. Um, so I'm excited to see what he looks like when we get back to Cassandra. Uh, but that's enough about today's episode. But before we start, please like this video. It does help push out the video out to other people that enjoy Sims 2 content, which I know there's a lot of us out there. We just need to find them. And don't forget to press subscribe and make sure that you do press that bell icon. That way you are notified when I do upload, which is every Monday and Thursday. And if you noticed, I did manage to upload on Thursday this week. Well, last week when you've seen this. But I was pretty proud of myself. And for once, the Strange Town Let's Play is doing pretty well. Well, that episode is doing really well. Not sure if it's because of the thumbnail, there was like a, two additional kids in the family. So with that all being said, let's just jump straight into Pleasant View. Alright, so this is the second time I'm recording this because the first time I accidentally uh, pressed unrecord. <laughs> so I was only recording for like two minutes, but that is fine. Anyway, we are going to adopt a cat and a dog for um, Darren because that's what he wants. First, let me just remove this airplane. Um, I got him a cat and when, and then when I got the dog, I realised I stopped recording and his wants re-rolled, but then he still wanted a dog. So we're going to give them both. I was thinking about Cassandra, uh, which reminds me that... Um, when we go around to playing Cassandra, I um, I'm basically just going to move. Um, I'm gonna name the cat Opal. I'm going to move uh, Darren into <laughs> Gotham Manor because it feels a bit weird that he's not with um, his baby. And plus, like, I don't think you get wants to ask someone to move in. It's just engagement and marriage. And I think he would live there because why would he not live there with his son when he and Cassandra are in love with one another? It's not as if they're, um, they're not, like, friends or anything. So when that happens, I'm actually going to move Lilith and Dirk into this house. Not stupid and dirty, so I don't want you... You're a genius and dirty, and you're stupid and dirty again. Um, I guess we can have you, and I'm gonna call you Onyx. So we have Per, not Per. We have Opal and Onyx. So you go greet Onyx, and then I can get started on decorating that little pet room. Right, so I've got that little room decked out, I've got two bowls, I've got the litter tray, I have the two beds, I've got a cat toy here, a dog bone, and a scratching post. One well, minute, let me just change that to yellow actually so it fits in with the room a bit better. Maybe the pink. No, definitely the yellow. Definitely the yellow. Hopefully these will be the best of friends. What are they doing? Oh, they're playing with each other and it seems to be going well. 
Oh my god, you want another cat and a dog? No, I am not doing it. Anyway, we need to go paint a masterpiece. Because that's what you want. And I'll start looking on the job uh, for the visionary. And if he doesn't get it, then we will take him down to the job centre. Because that's a new lot that I have in the game. And I will be using it. Alright, so Darren hasn't had any luck making a masterpiece. Not yet. He couldn't finish it. He needed a piddle and he needed some food. So he's got some leftovers. So I'm going to give him some leftovers and hopefully raise his food bar a little bit. And then we can give him a shower and then send him to bed. I don't, I'm not quite sure what he got other than he got macaroni cheese. Um, yeah, I can't imagine leftovers of macaroni cheese actually being delicious, but whatever. Each to their own, I guess. Right, so Darren woke up and I'm getting him to look for a job before the jobs re-roll for the day. Currently, I'm making him look for full-time, so business, no. Journalism, no. And if this doesn't work, then we'll look for part-time as well, which won't give him the full amount of money, but it is what it is. And oceanography, no. Culinary, no. Politics, no. Okay, so there are no full-time jobs for us, so let's look at um, part-time. Hopefully there'll be something, because he's broke poor after buying a, a kitten and a puppy. Journalism, no. The athletic career, no. I can't remember what the arts one is called, but I, I'll know it when I see it. Culinary, no. Medicine, no. One last try, and then we'll try in a few hours when it's morning when the jobs have re-rolled. Slacker, no. Okay, no jobs for us. How are the dogs doing? Let's have a look and see how they are. I'm intrigued to see what they look like. Um, playfulness. Um, praise for playfulness. Because they are being nice to each other, which is nice to see, especially when it's a dog and a cat. Come on, Darren. Pra praise your pets. Okay, and then now you just need to go praise your kitty cat. Um... So that's good. Thank you for doing that. And what's he want to do now? He wants to blog about arts and crafts. We can do that. And he also wants to talk about hobby, but there's no one here to talk about it too. Oh, oh my god. You could get past the dog. So annoying. Um, Blog about arts and crafts. Thank you. So he's done that. Now what's he want to do? He wants to learn how to make mac and cheese. I'm pretty sure you've already made mac and cheese before, but anything to help get the wants up? I don't know why you're not on the bed considering the bed's only there. Oh my god, we need we need to buy uh, some food. So Darren, can you just uh, shop online? Is it here? No, uh, order groceries. He's worried about his aspiration, but it's not my fault you're not getting wants for um, knowledge. Uh, 50 simoleons delivery, Jesus Christ, 428 simoleons on food. Damn, those better be some organic, natural produce right there, my guy. Okay, please accept the delivery so I can fulfil this one. Come on. Just thank you. <laughs> Serve mac and cheese. Come on. I need to sort out this garden. It's kind of driving me nuts. That that doesn't even look appetising. Oh, did he get that one? Yeah, he must have. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you knew how to cook it.
Right, so Darren just finished this painting. Sell for 300, not 300, 539 simoleons. Oh my God, his needs aren't looking the best right now, guys. Was that a masterpiece? Yay! It was! Huh? Finally! Buy a painting, buy a pottery reel, buy a toy making bench. Jesus Christ. We're all the, what is your secondary aspiration? Family? Right, I need to redo his thing because I was watching a video uh, from Pleasant Sims who it inspired my Let's Play and I'm not sure if she actually continued with this but she had the idea of like, because I use um, the same thing she does to figure out what secondary aspiration is and you give them the second, like the highest one but what it was is that if you got them to be, like, say if they came out to be fortune, but they already had a fortune, um, if they already had, like, a fortune aspiration, the, um, like, you would give them the second highest one. But she had the idea to be like, say if it comes out as fortune and they've already had a fortune aspiration, just keep them as fortune because that will make them a true fortune uh, sim or like whatever. So I'm just going to redo the thing and see if he actually has a pure um, knowledge aspiration because his family wants are kind of getting in the way a tiny little bit. They're a little too strong for... Um, me at the minute right so i've had a look and he got knowledge 20 family 19 popularity 20 romance 17 pleasure 18 and fortune 1 so how i gave him the family secondary aspiration when he technically should have got popularity but you know what i'm gonna keep him as a full-fledged knowledge sim because this isn't even working out and plus I only even give him that. I didn't even give him like the comfort soup thing. So I think um I'm just trying to figure out how how I do this. I think I use this and then I do um do 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 traits dreamer. No, it's not that one. Aspiration change I think I have to do this change him this way and then I select knowledge and then I just won't select the secondary aspiration I'm not 100% sure I wish he would finish having his shower though okay so he likes redheads great cooking and he's turned off he's unemployed but yet he is unemployed so I do that oh I need to change that so I'll give him all of these and then I just, I guess I just give him the needs one. Um, so what did I actually have down for his, um, do, 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 for his, oh, I had him as a mad scientist, but he doesn't want to do science anyway. He wants to be a cult leader. Well, whatever his lifetime, um, wish was, he was never going to get it. So that doesn't matter. Anyway, oh no, right, I'm just going to send him bed and we'll look at jobs later. I was just looking at the pets and they've gone through two bowls of food within a day. <laughs> right, so I need to wake um, Darren up because the, the pets are starving. Um, which isn't fun. Oh, we, we missed that call. Uh, so first we will get him to have leftovers. Uh, what's, what did I pick? Oh, uh, fried chicken and, uh, chips. Or, Amer as Americans say, fries. Um, delicious. So, anyway, as I was saying, let's do find a job full time. And then if not full-time, part-time. And then if he doesn't get it today, we will take him to the uh, job centre tomorrow. So education, no. Adventurer, no. Architecture, no. Law enforcement, no. Military, no. Okay, so now we try for part-time. Law, no. Gamer, no. 
Dance, no. Architecture, no. Science, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I'll clean up. Um, we, we need to do another bloody painting. Um, because these pets are going to make us broke. And we have a hundred simoleons of bills to pay. So once he's finished this painting, I will be straight back. Right, so he has finished this painting. Ooh, 620 simoleons. Yes, Darren. You can now go have some more food because you're hungry again. Sorry about that. Oh, yeah, right after you shower. Hmm. Oh, I would, I really want. <laughs> you know those baths that are for like mobility, like, you know, like elderly people? And they're like a bath and you sit in it and it has a little door on the side and you fill it up. I really want one of them because I like to be submerged in hot water and a bath isn't deep enough for me. So I want one of those mobility ones where it has a little seat in it. Well, it's a bath, but it's deeper, but it has like a ledge that you can sit on. And you can fill it up to like your shoulders and I just want to sit there. And then I can have a little tray that goes across that I can put my phone or a drink in it. And I can watch YouTube videos. <laughs> or it's like a really, what one of those like, you know, like a rich person shower, you know, where it's like... They have like the shower head at the top and then they have ones on the side of the wall. So then you're getting water from all angles. That's what I'll want. <laughs> if I ever make enough money and I can uh, build my own house, that is, um, that is my dream. <laughs> okay, today is a new day. It's currently Friday. Uh, I've just got... Darren up so he can pay his 100 simoleon bill and then he's going to clean that up fill the bowls so the pets can eat and then I'm going to have him to take a shower and then we can be on our merry way to the job centre and I'm going to make him walk because obviously we don't have enough money to drive uh, so Pleasant View Career Services, yes please. And this is a build that was created by Pleasant Sims again. I absolutely love this build. I think I put it in Strange Town as well, but I just changed the roof to it, you know, so it looked like a desert building. So and it's really handy. And if you watched the last episode of uh the Pleasant View Let's Play, I actually uh took my sim the whoever i was playing with at the time can't remember who it was and we saw dina and alexander making out because i know that they're best friends but now he's an adult he's like left paul lucy behind <laughs> and he was like making out with uh with dina his former stepmother the mother of his half sibling and oh my god, so I don't know what to do about that relationship. I might actually keep it going because when I was going into the thing about The Sims and I was like writing details for my spreadsheet, I saw that Lucy no longer has chemistry towards Alex, but she actually has chemistry towards Bo. So I think I'm going to get it with Bo. And plus, she doesn't want to be with Alex anyway. He's like a full-blown criminal now. Find a job in... D -d 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 -d, not beekeeper. Uh, D -d 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 -d, not law enforcement. No. It's not music. Medicine, science. Oh, artist. There it is. It was on the second page. And I didn't even realise it. Man, Darren. He's like, I can't believe I've, I'm at the job centre. But you know what? This is what job centres are for. When you're struggling to get a job and they'll help you out. They'll set you on the right path. Oh, there's Don. Don, why are you here? That reminds me. I need... Oh, okay. Oh, he's starting off at level two. Um, 357 simoleons a day. Yes, please. Okay, is he at work? today okay so we've already missed a day of work but 
I actually need to get the visitor controller so I can have it so sims that aren't um, unemployed can't come here at, well let me rephrase that sims that have jobs can't come here and I'm also going to do that for like I'm going to build some community lots for teens so teens have somewhere to go um, and obviously I need visitor controller to make sure that uh, teens only appear there and also clubs have you ever been into a club on nightlife and you're chilling and then a teen just like rocks up and it's like what the hell are you doing here especially when it's like a group out in thing and it's like family members like geez oh i got a chance card and it says darren is called into his boss's office for a short meeting when he's when he notices a hideous painting over his boss's desk like truly awful should darren say something or just keep his mouth shut i think darren would keep his mouth shut because he'll be like it's none of my business oh my god i hope we don't get fired for this i think darren would keep his mouth shut because he'll be like it's none of my business oh my god i hope we don't get fired for this darren can't let something like uh, what Darren can't let something this hideous stay on the wall. He mentions that the piece of art is rather unattractive and urges his boss to invest in something a bit more pleasing to an eye. His boss is insulted and asks him to leave the office. Darren, wait, did I? Did I? <laughs> did I? <laughs> did I click on the wrong option? <laughs> Did I click on the wrong option accidentally? I meant to say ignore it. Did I click or mention it? Oh my god. We got demoted. No. Oh, I'm so sorry, Darren. Damn. <laughs> That's my fault. That's my mm. fault. Mm. Are we on the phone? Too? I don't know who you are. Who is she? Anyway, while we're here, let's clean the sink, get some leftovers, and then I'm going to get you to sort out this garden. Because this garden is a bit of a mess, Darren, and I'm quite ashamed that you've let it get to the state. Oh, he's crying and it's all my fault. Uh, garden. Come on. I might also get rid of his glasses because they're starting to like really irk me, you know. Working nine to five, what a way to make a living. That's the only lyrics from that song I know. Oh my god, I got another chance card after I just replaced those daisies. While out on an early morning hike, Darren comes across and and <laughs> comes across and <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we got a chance card while I was sorting out the daisies and it says while out on an early morning hike, Darren comes across an usual looking insect. Darren returns home and finds that the bug is extremely rare and unlikely to be found in the section of the country. Should Darren retrace his steps and look for the insect himself or alert a professional bug tracker? I think he would let the professionals know. The bug tracking professionals are able to locate the rare insect and Darren is celebrated for the incredible find. Darren is given an exclusive membership to a secret lot. Wow. That's not... I was hoping for a bloody promotion, but... Oh, well. Oh, my God. Our cat and dog <laughs> aged up. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay, so we've got Onyx looks pretty cute and then let's look at pearl oh my god you're a proper mix aren't you cute i love it i love them might have to go and buy them like collars or something not sure i'll do that Oh, Darren is home from his second day of work. No. Okay, so we didn't get promotion today. 
it's fine. I know that you're exhausted, um, but you you can't say you up and I want you to clean. Oh my god, he wants to quit his job again. I'm sorry, but no, you don't make enough as a painter. I'm not doing that. You want to gain a skill? Um, we'll do that in a bit, but oh my god, Jesus Christ. Sorry. Let's have a shower, toilet, and then you can go to bed. <laughs> okay, so Darren is up. His comfort isn't really doing that great, so I might have to invest in a bath, actually. So we've got a shower downstairs, so we can have a bath up here. So maybe if you have a bubble bath. Oh, is it flipped the wrong way? I oh, I never know which way it's supposed to be flipped. Oh my god, did I not flip it then? I don't think I did. <laughs> uh, take a bubble bath. Thank you. I love me a bubble bath, like. I, have you ever had a bubble bath though when it's like thunder and lightning? Oh my god, that looks so good. That could be me right now. Oh my god, I never realised how much of a good looking sim Darren was. Jeez. Yeah, I'm getting rid of those glasses on you right now. I know your social's bad. It's not my fault that you've not wanted to talk to Cassandra. But I guess we'll call her once I've got rid of your ugly glasses. Oh my god. He is beautiful. Anyway, let's go down here. Actually, no, you have a phone up here, don't you? Yeah, you do. Uh, call Sim. Because it's about to go into summer. Uh, which means we've almost, well, we played like a year of Darren's life, basically. Cassandra, he's not even had any booty calls towards her. Uh, how rude. Oh, was in there, baby. <laughs> oh, I meant to just talk to her, but I've invited her over, but... Oh, well. Maybe he can woohoo her, because he needs to get some fun up anyway. So how about you come here and fill the bowls? Come on, Darren. I believe in you. Okay, Cassandra is here, so we will queue up that interaction i can't believe how fast the the animals are going through the food mm. i love cassandra she's so pretty oh okay oh the gold on the couch <laughs> Let's just hide behind this tree. I wonder if she'll get pregnant from this. Probably not, because she's a bit up there in age. Oh yeah, they're just woohooing. They're not doing a casual one. So it's okay. Let's just fast forward. See, his fun and social went up. Uh, let's propose her to... Oh, let's go steady with her. Like, you know, like make a relationship. I've got this mod that makes that, like, adults can go steady. And it's also a mod that will make, um, you know... Well, say if you're in love with someone, but they're not in a relationship, but they class it as cheating, but they're not in a committed relationship. Um, like, I've got it so that basically romance sims, unless they're married to someone, they're not going to get caught for cheating. While if it's just like loads of people they're in love with, they're not going to get caught cheating because technically you're not in a relationship. Um, oh, we can't ask her to spend the night. It's probably a bit too late. So let's just serve some... Um, shrimp salad um she might stay around for that but um so yeah it just stops like you know when you have like 20 people in a relationship that they can't get done for cheating unless they're married um and plus i think it's nice that the adults can actually now have like a relationship so this i think if he was to get with someone else and cassandra caught him i think it would class as cheating because he's kind of in a relationship with her now um not 100% sure. Like I said, it's a new mod that I've added in, so um, I'll have to see how it is 
while we play. So you can put that in single plates and then you want to play a game so I guess you can play that. Oh. Oh, Cassandra, oh, Cassandra was saying bye. Anyway. <laughs> well, he plays a skiing game. His fun isn't going up as quick as what it would be if he was on the computer. Yeah, that was really slow. <laughs> oh, it's summer! <laughs> right, guys, that is it for today's episode. Oh my god, why can I not speak? Alright guys, that is it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like we did okay. I don't feel like we got as much done as what I would have hoped, but I always have this issue whenever I play Darren. It's so not enjoyable. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm not sure where we are next. Let me just have a look. So next time we are with the Burb family, which consists of John, Jennifer, Lucy and their son, Luca. So that should uh, be an interesting one with John and all of his uh, love affairs he's got going on. And yeah, I think that's it. Don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. It does help push out the channel to people that enjoy Sims 2 content. Also, if you want to keep up to date with my Pleasant View and Strange Town Let's Play, press the subscribe button and make sure you press that little bell icon. That way you will be notified when I do upload, which is weekly, twice weekly at that, Mondays and Thursdays. You won't regret it. So yeah, with that all being said, I'll see you all on Thursday. Bye guys.